welcome to another episode of Game Hiker. This is Aaron here, and uh, Steve is with me, and we're going to be playing a little game called uh, Chronicles of Teddy. This is a game I had uh, previously got about a quarter of the way through, as you can see up there. Um, about halfway through, I actually got two of the gem collectible things. Yeah, you were doing this on Twitch for a while, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, I, I had some my initial doubts with it at first, um, mostly because I got helplessly lost, but uh, it, it turned out pretty well. Especially since it is straight up, without being any way unsubtle about it, a complete Zelda 2 ripoff. And that's my favorite Zelda uh, game. This title screen is pure Zelda 1. No, no, that, uh, that top up there is definitely from the Zelda 2 screen. Um, do I have do I have it backwards? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, we got this whole story, something about Exodus, or a guy who lives there. He had no friends, he, he made a friend, and then it, it goes on from there. Yeah. This is actually a sequel to Finding Teddy, which I believe was a point-and-click adventure. Yes, which I admit I have not played at all. I'm just in it for the Zelda 2. Yeah, I, I respect that. I, I, I poked into it some time ago. And by some time ago, I mean earlier this afternoon. And... <laughs> It felt very unresponsive, and I was like clicking things, and nothing was happening, and then I got mad. It's very interesting that they would go um, so different with the sequel, then going straight from like a point-and-click adventure to straight up Zelda. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say it was the right decision. Oh yeah, this game was it playable. has to be. Magic Koopas. Yeah, so they're, they're like really assuming that nobody played the first game, so they're just straight up giving you the entire plot. Like, listen, this is what happened in the last game. We're not expecting you to play it. So just read the screen. Yeah. First game, not that good. Don't bother. Play this one. Which this is yeah. a lot of story, which I could be skipping it, but for our lovelies at home, I'll let you have a look at it. Let them watch it scroll by for themselves. Cause yeah, exactly. Sure I'm still not going to read it to them. <laughs> I know I'll be like sore the throat by the time we get done with this. <laughs> like, so yes. we, we have some eggs, and they're they're not the uh, Super Famicom color scheme, which is very important to the plot. And it's also timely because it's almost Easter, so you know, hey, look at that—we're being mm. yeah. festive. Right. So so these eggs went into a magical coloring book. And that's why we need a teddy bear. The teddy bear is the main character of the coloring book, you see. Oh, okay. That, that makes right. sense. Yeah. But they, had to, they had to capture the teddy bear to eat them in the coloring book with the eggs, and that was a whole thing. Good God, this uh, story is long. <laughs> I don't think there's as much story within the actual Zelda games, or even this game, probably. No, no, not, not even close. <laughs> All right, can oh, we play yeah, it now? That. Whew, all right, so join us again next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she even has a Zelda 2 poster in there. That's nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. She's probably even playing Zelda 2. Like, this is the best game ever. Way better than any of the other Zeldas. Why did they never make another Zelda 2? Nobody knows. It's yeah. worth noting at this point that, that Aaron has a strange and inexplicable love for Zelda 2. It's not strange and inexplicable. It's the best Zelda game they've made, and they have yet to top it. Yeah, you know, except Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. <laughs> and I'm even going to say Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> wow, that's a low blow. You, 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 you're on top of Spirit Tracks and Skyward Sword. Oh, two yeah. games, huh? Yeah. So you check this out. She has a pretty similar you know, control screen to you know, Zelda 2. She can yeah, do this. Yeah, you got the upstab, you got probably. down. But unlike Link, she can already do this and that and yeah. this. Right, so. right off the bat. Well, she played Zelda 2. She knows the secrets of the sword. She does. Oh, so the teddy bear. Why does she keep her teddy bear in the basement on a pillar? That doesn't seem very uh, cuddly. <laughs> I'm sure it was all explained in the opening crawl. So she's falling or something, I think. <laughs> she's not even on the screen for 10 seconds of falling. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to do the intro to uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, so it's like both games. 
Either that or it's trying to channel Bill and Ted too. That was incredibly long. It was. It's a little bit too much. One of the reasons why Zelda 2 was the best game ever is because it didn't bother with kind of long cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, I'll, gi- I'll give it that. <laughs> You are now at Exodus. Anguist took control of our world, and we had to stop him. He is currently going up to the library. Hurry up. Okay, cool. Has he got overdue books or something he's interested in reading about? So one thing it did not fix um, from Zelda 2 is that you can't run, so. Her walking animation is a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, she didn't have Link's amazing swagger, but... (laughs) The oh, maybe old NES stick up the butt. Maybe she can run. Oh, okay, she can run. I forgot Man, that was a thing. Proven wrong immediately. Yeah. So, so I popped this game in a little bit just to prepare. And one thing that really irritated me is that you need to crouch to hit the bots. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much the way it works in Zelda too. If you want to, you know, um, mm-hmm. pick up different things, you have to crouch to get it to work. That's a good point. And that is why Zelda 2 is the worst Zelda game. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're definitely going to have our disagreements on that one. Whenever I say that, just add parentheticals. <laughs> the Skyward Sword and Spirit Tracks. Right, right. I, say, I see. Yes. I just don't want to you know, say that whole thing every time. I would say, at the very least, that even if Zelda 2 isn't the best Zelda game... It is better than all the 3D games, including the, the 2DS games combined. So, you know... It, 3D games. Yeah, so... A Link to the Past might have an edge on it. <laughs> I'm just trying to think how hard I want to push back on this <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's certainly not better than Breath of the Wild. I mean, in some ways... I'd say it has a tighter combat. No. Oh, definitely. The whole stabby shield, random up and down thing. There's nothing yeah. random about it if you know how to play it. <laughs> okay, the, the learning curve is a lot steeper, but fighting the Lynels in, uh, in Breath of the Wild approaches a Dark Souls quality combat. Yeah, and Dark Souls combat does... Somewhat come close to Zelda 2 combat. No, but I mean, if I'm being completely honest, um, it may be my favorite Zelda game, but I wouldn't call it the best Zelda game. It's just the one that I have come back to many, many, many times, at least like once a year for several, several years, um, just because of how much I enjoy it. it. It really does have a certain charm. And I, I think it gets a lot more crap than it deserves. Um, you know, I, I would put it in the the top seventy five percent Zelda games. <laughs> How generous of you! <laughs> did you have to pull out a calculator to figure that out? <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually feeling generous to uh, not do the math on that. There's got to oh. be what like. 15 Zelda games at this point. Oh, there has to be. I mean, like, let's see, Ocarina of Time was the fifth one. Um, and then let's yeah. see, after that, you had the two Oracle games and Majora's Mass. That's eight. And mm. Then you get up to uh, Wind Waker, Minish Cap, Four Swords. I, I would have to actually get a list out to count them. Might have to yeah, be, to, right now. Might have to be 20 oh. games now. It might be 20. Okay, so we got... The original Zelda 2, Link to the Past. I'm going to skip some of the BS ones, such as BS Zelda. Yeah, I'd say um, major releases. Yeah, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora, Oracle, Oracle, Wind Waker. I'll skip Four Swords as well. Uh, Twilight Princess, that's 10. Minish Cap, Skyward Sword, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks. Giant Litter Guy. Link Between Worlds, that's 15. I'll skip the Triforce Heroes. I'd say that one counts. It was a major release. It wasn't a pack in like Four Swords. Well, then I gotta count Four Swords Adventures. So 18. 
18. 18 that I'm counting under my arbitrary standards. Okay. And four swords is usually kind of part of the timeline, so that'd be 19 games. So that means the next Zelda game would be technically 20. Yeah. So it's not bad. Unless, of course, since it was a major release, we count Link's crossbow training, in which case Breath of the Wild was the 20th game, which seems very fitting for a game of that, uh, of that class. Yeah, and I, I or, think we should fudge the numbers. Yeah. However we need to. Whether it's counting that one or Hyrule Warriors. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so Hyrule this, Warriors. this is the Hyrule library. Warriors. Yep, yep, that's the library. Yeah. One thing I do love is this, uh, the music in this library. It's just a nice little piano piece. Um, it repeats quite often, but uh, it's rather I, I really enjoy it. Well, I think we should enjoy it more next time now that we've... Uh, thoroughly discuss the merits of Zelda 2 in comparison to nothing about this game. <laughs> True. Okay, we'll, do, we'll actually talk about this game, or something else, next time. And it's on to Zelda 2 Part 2. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>